The total value of the early morning hours of a person's waking time is how God speaks to them. As a pagan priest, I encourage people to really listen to the Lord before they do something. But at the same time, people still do over-intellectualize and over-analyze what they should and shouldn't do in someone's life. And the bottom line is you might have been rejected and pushed out of that individual's life. The only question God's going to ask you when you stand before him in the heaven was you're being evaluated by Gabriel and literally sent in the right space when you die is, did you do the Lord's bidding or did you choose to do things your way? When you choose to do things your own way, you probably have violated someone's rights. If you fail to stand before someone and apologize profusely for how your actions have harmed them, don't expect them to want them back in your life. But here's the truth. Liars of America often lie, steal, and cheat someone out of a life with them. And when they do that, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is never pleased. You see, you thought you were in charge of God today. You weren't in any way. The Lord has rights, and when you start to interfere with God's rights to do things for someone's life, you interfere with your own life. Because you put your life on hold, you became a hoarder, you became a stalker, you became a game player, you became a liar, you became a manipulator of truth. And when you did that, you gave up your rights to heaven. It doesn't mean you won't go there, it just might mean you won't go to the highest levels. Because let me ask you this question. How often does somebody lie to you every day? We have those little white polite lies when someone says, how are you today? You say, fine when you might have had the shittiest morning of your life. But in truth, we also have liars who are teaching their children the uniqueness of lying. That says, if you give someone a few dollars, then you can do anything you like to them. And that is a lie. It's a form of financial abuse. It's a form of fiscal retort, not at all. But let's remind you that you're not God in heaven and you have no rights to any human being at all. If you want to get to know someone, it's great you want to send your children to meet him because most likely if he's a good person and an intelligent man and a thoughtful individual or a teacher of any way, then he'll be thoughtful to the best that he can. But if you're playing with someone's life, if you're interfering with their life, if you're sending your whole fucking group of people to go look at them so they can lie, you just screwed yourself before Jesus Christ.